Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we shall see how to query a Cosmos DB document using C Sharp programming. Uh, I made a, a video earlier where you can add a document in Cosmos DB, of course, uh, using stored procedures and user defined functions. If not, please check it out. Uh, here we can see uh, how we can do it. So um, I just start off where we left. So I created a Cosmos DB document. It's called BJ Cosmos 255. And if you look at the data explorer uh, and go to the container and items, if you query it, then you can find three documents that we have created. Let's query it and have a look. So here you can see that there are three documents which is available under the container clothes. Uh, so we have three documents called Jack and Jones, G Straw Raw, and uh, one more PM Legend. So let's see how we can query this information from Cosmos DB uh, by using C Sharp. So I created a sample uh, program. So this is uh, been set up. So in order to start off with it, so we need to have a, a package uh, for Cosmos. Uh, so we can go to um, Uh, manage to get package browse can try to install a package related to cosmos so that's called microsoft azure cosmos we can install them Meanwhile, let's start creating a, a function. Uh, let's call it as query for documents. And uh, let's uh, define something uh, for this function, query for documents. Let's make this private and we shall use uh, async task await uh, uh, asyn asynchronous programming uh, in this task query for documents. So, in order to start off with it, we need uh, two uh, uh, main uh, parameters from the Cosmos uh, DB. One is the endpoint, so which gives the URL, and the other one is the master key in order to connect to the Cosmos client. So, where we can get this from is uh, in the overview, if you click on the overview, we can get the URI. So this would be the endpoint. So let's copy that and store it in a variable. Where and can name it as uh, endpoint. And uh, the next one we need is a master key. Let's call it as a key. And in our case, we define it as master key. Now to make a connection with, with Cosmos client. So here we can go on the keys. We can copy this primary key. And we can use it to uh, make the connection uh, with the Cosmos client. Ooh. Now let's uh, start uh, defining a Cosmos client. So we can see it as a, a client, new Cosmos client using endpoint and master key. So the Cosmos client is not there, so we can add them. Yeah. And the next we need is the container. Uh, so we made a client here so we can uh, get a uh, we need to define a container based on this client so so we can uh, say that container using client which we define so it should be get container uh, for the container we need uh, two uh, parameters one is the uh,
the container one is the database name other one is the container uh, name so let's see so the data, database name is xyz in our case and the container name is clone so let's put it as xyz and the container name is uh, clothes uh, now we have a container let's query uh, uh, using uh, let's query this assume that we have made a connection so let's have a sql uh, for this uh, program so In order to uh, uh, query this uh, SQL, so we need to iterate uh, going through it. So let's uh, using this container. We have a function called get item query iterator, which we can define it as dynamic. So it would be uh, resolved during the one time. So we can pass the SQL into this iterator and some. Now we need to uh, call a function called uh, read next async using this iterator so that treats uh, them. Okay, uh, the next now we need to uh, loop through it using for each to get this. Uh, where let's call it as talking page. So let's loop it through and then write them. From the cosmos, so white line. Let's say, uh, uh, let's say, available. I have a brand, right? So the brand can say, well, what's the brand, maybe? Uh, so uh, let's put it as like uh, the brand, uh, a PME ledger. Uh, legend has a color and a size. So let's say, it's like, it has a color. And we can get that variable as well uh, using this dot dot color, and uh, it's available in so and so size. So dot dot size. Now this part, so the so I have some errors here. I see. Oh uh, yeah, now it has to convert into uh, await task async as well because. Uh, the function has a uh, async and the return that also has to be task. There you go, everything is uh, solved. It's just a typo on the async, so that's been uh, sorted out. Uh, I hope uh, let's try it and see. We don't have errors. So, what we're trying to do is make a connection uh, with the Cosmos client, so using an endpoint and master key. And we try to get a container here uh, uh, where we pass the uh, database name as XYZ and the container name. And we have a SQL query which just returns everything pretty much. And then we iterate uh, using get item query iterator uh, function, and then we call it as read next async uh, on the iterator using for each we get all the required information. So let's run it and see what happens. It's doing something. It's a bit slow at the moment. I think it should return the right desired results. There we go. Brand G star has color black available in size 32. Brand Jack and Jones has color blue available in size 36. And the other one. So these are the three documents which we saw in Cosmos DB. And now we can able to get those information using C sharp programming. And 
let's make a little bit specific that I want only for PLE legend, for example. So what we can do is uh, we specify here because that works with alias. So now we give a database name where C dot uh, brand is PM legend. So I get only the information which I needed for PM legend, right? So all the yellow web which I didn't take it out, it's still there. And you see the brand PM legend has colored gray available in size 28. So in this way we can do whatever we want using C sharp programming as long as we make a connection and we know what we want to vibrate and get the right information. Thanks a lot. I hope uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.